Hello, everybody. Today, we're teaching you how to kickflip. Now, before I kickflip, you're going to want to learn how to ollie. Front foot three quarters up the board, back foot on the tail. Kickflip position is very similar. Front foot three quarters up and three quarters across the board. As you see right there, don't you see? Now, first, get used to clacking the tail down and dragging your front foot off the edge of the skateboard while simultaneously lifting your back leg and jump. Here you can see the approximate foot positioning. I like covering both my bolts because it gives me a little more control and pop. And it's hard to see here, but watch as I drag my front foot up and kick it, catching with my back and landing. I'm gonna show you in multiple angles. Watch how my front foot kicks forward and my back catches, stopping the board from spinning. I like to do my kickflips obviously out in the street and on obstacles, rocks, bumps, cracks, all that stuff. That takes time. Learn on something smooth like a garage or at a skate park. Go ahead and try them while not moving and then step the groove up and give it a little bit of a move. If you like friends and skateboarding, link in the description for my most viewed video. That also involves kickflips. Watch as I jump forward and use my forward momentum to keep the board under. Keep following the physics and look at what my feet are doing and keep on practicing that every day. Kickflip a day keeps the doctor in, in the bay fishing. My favorite part about skateboarding though is you could be innovative. So once you get your kickflip and you're comfortable, try them on different obstacles, over stuff, under stuff, on the stuff, off of stuff. Let's check some of those out and pay attention how they might be a little bit different and I'll explain. When popping onto a box or a curb, it's really all about timing. That kick moving over something, you need some forward momentum. Now here's the part everyone's been waiting for. The big shibuzi. Steeze out your kickflips and make them look super ninja. Watch now as I extend and catch, overextending my front foot, like a ninja kick, catching with my back and landing. To really get that ninja kick, each day do some kick flips and then practice really exaggerating that front foot as much as you can or kicking it as far as you can after you flick and picking up the back leg catching and bending your knees steezing that whichever you feel i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to learn more tricks please leave it in the comments below if you'd like to see me go skate some spots let me know whatever you guys want i'll do it i'm gonna be opening up carts soon I'm gonna be opening up cart soon and doing some really cool stuff. Got some awesome stuff on the way from Small Openings SG that everybody has really got to see. Some Pokemon Center exclusives. Stay tuned. Get your kickflips fine. Ladies and gentlemen, clamps.